Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to this week's episode of Craft Corner Kits to Go. Today, we're going to take an egg carton and we're going to make a pirate ship. And this pirate ship has a pirate that's steering his ship and we have the, the flags. And this is all made out of an egg carton and some paper and a toilet paper roll. So to start with, you need your paint. And I'm using today black. And you can use any color you want for the other sale. I used blue and this dark pink. But you could use red and blue. Or um, Remember that whatever color you use, you've got to use part of it to color your pirate. So blue is, for me, important. And then you also need brown paint. So um, you want to pour your paint in, I use a styrofoam egg carton, but you can use a little cup or something. But you want each color of paint in one section and we're going to water these paints down so that's why some paint and some water in on top of them so just a little touch of water don't make it too runny take my sails that you'll get in your kit i've got a, a pre-printed pirate ship sail here and just a piece of paper with the holes marked for your masts. And I'm going to take a white crayon. And you want to take a white crayon and you want to color your entire skull and crossbones. And you have to press down really hard. Wax crayon will repel your paint. And what you're going to do is you're going to paint over it and the white will come through. And if you smear white crayon all over, then you won't have your eyes showing. So try to color this really well. And sometimes if you take your paper and look at it sideways, you can see where you might have missed so that you make sure you color this. Then you want to take your white crayon and you want to color some crossways stripes on your regular sail so that when we put the paint on this it will repel it in stripes. So we've got that part done and now you need a surface to paint on so I'm using an old paper plate and I've got my paint brush so I'm taking the part that I mixed black with water and you just want to go across it see what I'm doing and you want to do that for the whole surface my skull and crossbones is showing up just fine looks like right there I didn't get any crayon or crayon on it doesn't it Anyway, if this doesn't show up and your paint's a little thicker, you can take a paper towel and wipe across it, and that will work. So we're going to set our black sail aside for it to dry. And then we're going to do our other sail. The second sail I'm putting on my paper so I can paint. I have rinsed out my paintbrush and now I'm going to get into say the blue paint and I'm going to just paint some stripes all the way across my and I received you will receive two pieces of a toilet paper roll and this one is a little bit raggedy so we just trim it off till it looks prettier 
and we want to set that on the egg carton and mark where it sets down on the points of the egg carton. Now I'm going to take scissors and I'm going to cut a V at each of my marks. So just cut a little V out. Okay, so now your pirate is going to sit right tight on that. So this is going to be your pirate. So at the bottom of the pirate, I want to put his clothes. So I've got blue paint right now. So I'm going down, but leave, leave maybe an inch and a half to two inches at the top. So this guy is going to be set aside to dry. And we go back to the sail, and we've got some blue lines here. So now we want to rinse that paintbrush again. And now we're going to do the pink or red or whatever the second color is that you've got. And we're just going to go across again. I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel and wipe some of it off. And look, I have a real pretty striping effect on that. So this one also needs to set aside to dry. Now you've got your egg carton. You want to set it on a paper plate and you will have brown mixed with water and you will paint this whole egg carton on the inside with the brown water mixture. And then paint around the outside. Not the bottom, just around the outside. So what you end up with after it dries, and then you will set this aside to dry. After it dries, you end up with a brown egg carton. We now have a dry egg carton. We still have this piece and we have a dry pirate. We need something to make holes with. I'm using a really big needle. If you are allowed to have a really big needle or something sharp like this, go ahead and use it. If not, have your parents help you with making the holes. And the first thing I'm gonna make holes in is this. This is going to be your steering wheel. So I'm going to take three toothpicks and put them through holes in this at various angles. So I need to make my first hole and then take a toothpick, stick it through and see where it's going to reach on the other side and make my second hole. So that toothpick will go through like that. You just press down a little bit until you get it and you have a toothpick. Okay, so there's my second hole. Now I'm going to take about halfway between those two in the larger area here. And I'm going to make a hole right in the top of this. It could be this side or it could be this side. If you have trouble here, do it back here. But anyway, I'm putting it there. And I'm going to poke my steering wheel or rudder or whatever you call this thing the steering wheel of the boat and I'm going to put it right like that. So now we've got a steering wheel. Okay, next we're going to take 
our pirate. And you should have a piece of black construction paper. So you want to lay that down and fold it in half like this. Then you want to fold it in half again like this. Then you want to find the halfway mark and fold it with this much of the open edge available. Okay, so we're just folding it over and folding it over to make that triangle shape. So I have two pieces like that, okay? Now I'm going to bring up these pieces on the side and I end up with a tri-cornered hat, okay? That hat's going to go on my pirate, but first I have to make features on it. So I'm going to give him a mustache and some eyes and a smile, okay? Then I'm going to take my glue dots and I'm going to put a glue dot right along the top of his head and right along the top of the back of his head. Oh, he has a hat that stays on his head. Now, he's going to set on his pirate ship, but we're not ready to actually make him stay there yet. What we want to do next is make our sails. So we have painted our sails and we've let them dry. So now you have two sails and you want to put them on the masts. We're going to take the masts and poke them in the boat. So I'm going, I know that my pirate is going to be here. So the next mast I use is this one. That's going to be the pirate ship mast. So I'm poking a hole and kind of working it around a little bit because this is bigger than this. And then I'm going to have a second mast. So I'm going to go back to maybe the back of the boat and make another little hole, a little bit bigger. And then I'm pushing down with my mast. You see it lies like that. So that's no good. So what I want to do is I'm going to take some tissue paper. You can use tissue paper. You could use a piece of a plastic grocery bag. You can use anything you want. I'm going to take this tissue paper. And, of course, my pirate shouldn't be on here yet. I'm going to lift up and kind of smash it in around the bottom of the boat and do the same thing with this other mast. You're going to make your hole just a little bit bigger because I know that with the weight of the sail on it and with you playing with it, it may want to come loose. So we just jam this tissue paper in here. And I use blue because it kind of looks like water but you can use whatever you have, okay? So now, we're going to put this sail on here, and for that also, we're gonna make a little hole in this. If you use uh, skewers that you didn't get here, they already have a pointed end in them, but my skewers, I cut the points off so that you didn't get hurt. So you want to slide this <coughs> excuse me, onto the sail.
<clears throat> holes in your X so that we can also slide it. on your pole. <clears throat> now I just noticed I failed to mention that I did paint and I did paint both sides. I only marked one side <clears throat> of the skull and crossbones. I painted the back side black. I painted this sail both sides. So now we have those installed and it's time to put our pirate on. Now you can fix him so he stays with glue dots if you want. I kind of like being able to take him out if I need to. So here is your pirate ship and it's all done. And that's it for this week's episode of Craft Corner Kits to Go. Thank you.